Uh, thank you very much. I think thank you're you. looking forward so to the next the, surgery. And the next patient is ready. Yeah. All the best. We have lots of questions for the patient, uh, almost as many as we have for the surgeon. Yeah. First of all, so uh, all the very best. I'm, I'm all set and uh, enjoy the surgery. <laughs> How does it feel to be the patient? Uh, I'm very comfortable because this is my OR and uh, I, they just checked my pulse and BP and it's fine. <laughs> So we, we are yeah. all set. I think uh, Dan is all set. He's just uh, checking the fluence of the laser. And uh, once that is done, we'll be on the way. Um, first, he'll be making the flaps with the femtosecond laser, 90 micron flaps, uh, 8 mm flaps. And then shift me on to the examer laser for the ablation. OK. I don't think we'll get you, uh, you know, uh, very, very apprehensive by asking too many questions all of us here would like to wish you the best of luck and i'm sure it'll be an uneventful procedure yeah thank you Mustali. right Okay, guys, uh, am I online here? Okay, good. So, uh, Sri Ganesh is a 47-year-old uh, uh, superlative eye surgeon. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to... Your trainer made you look 2047. Okay. Um, Sri Ganesh's refraction, uh, of course, as you know, refraction does change from day to day. His refraction today with me was plus 125, minus 150 at... 80 in the right eye and plus one, sorry, plus one minus 0.5 at 80 in the right eye and plus 125 minus 0.5 at 90 in the left eye. And he had a full tolerance to the 150 test, which we use for laser blend division. And he has um, absolute suppression uh, and very quick suppression of his left eye on testing. So he is receiving an absolutely standard laser blend division treatment. His six millimeter um, diameter spherical aberration is quite high in both eyes already. And so, as you know, the software of the, of the Blended Vision, so, uh, what it does is it takes the patient's spherical aberration, the patient's refraction, and based on what the refraction change would do to the spherical aberration and the pre-op spherical aberration, it calculates what we want to target as a final spherical aberration in order to give optimal depth of field with the anisometropia. And his distance vision of his minus 150i will be about 2050, 2060, which is the equivalent of about a minus 0.75 at distance. His near vision will be J1 at even though he's one, uh, minus 150 because his near vision will be as if he was minus 225. So that's the depth of field and that's what we're about to do. And I'm uh, very excited to uh, take Sri through this, uh, through this exercise. Okay, let's go. And just as you are in the middle, again, shh, please, you're looking straight ahead and in the middle there, the green flashing light, the green flashing light's going to come nice and close. I'm going to make it go sharp. And when it goes sharp is when you look straight at it. So directly at the green, 
Here we are, and there we go, straight in the center of the green light. That's right, you're locking right into the center of it. That's perfect, right in the middle. Now you're looking directly into the center there, right in the middle. That's, I'm just gonna come off here. Can we see gonna, the microscope view, please? Just gonna double check can, here. Just double can check we, here. Right. Looking directly into the center. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm getting your nose there. Just let me tilt you a tiny bit over. Very good. That's right. And just looking straight there, yeah? That's perfect. Super. Excellent. So directly at the green. Right there. Perfect. And just as you are there, again, the same thing. The green light, if it shifts, don't follow it. Just look straight past it, out into infinity, breathing gently, holding steady. That's super. Just perfect. The clouds are coming in. It's going to go fuzzy. Just memorize where you're looking nice and steady. That's beautiful. And we'll take the pressure off. Fantastic. Well done. Excellent. Everything is absolutely perfect. We're going to take this out for you. And in a minute, we'll swing around to the other side of the room to do part two. Everything's going perfectly. So just resting there. I'm going to go and calibrate. Maybe it looks like plus three. Yes. Yeah. So plus uh, two. Hello. Mustali, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, tell us. So that was the flap. I think it was much easier than what I expected. The pressure is not much. You don't feel okay. it at all. In fact, and it's uh, it's quite easy, uh, and it happens exactly as uh, Dan said. You see the green light, and it becomes sharper. But the green light shifts, so that's something uh, probably which you need to tell patients. And right. uh, you have a tendency two, to follow no the green light. Above. Uh, you normally would use two. But I think uh, it's as uh, look, I expected look, it to be. Look, look, look. It was, it was quite easy. Uh, no breakthrough. No pain at all. You I didn't feel the suction also. Okay. It's very you, gentle. You use this or you use a little bit of breakthrough? Excellent. We are glad that it's you gone off this. so well at this point. And yeah, this is the first time we are hearing this. Patients speak more than the surgeon. <laughs> as you are there, OS, and you're looking straight there. Little wet sponge here, keep looking straight. That's beautiful, super, excellent. And just as you are, a little pushing here, nice and steady. Little pushing, that's beautiful, super. You're looking towards the green light as best as you can, yeah, as best as you can. Just a little, little pushing and pulling, that's beautiful, excellent. Super. Everything's going to go very blurry, nice and steady, very blurry. Very blurry, that's great, excellent. Super, perfect. And just concentrating on looking straight ahead there. Everything goes very, very blurry, nice and steady, that's super. Very good. And just as you are there, very good. And that's beautiful, super. And the light's going to go red, you're looking straight. You're going to hear some buzzing, and you're going to see lots of flashes of light. That's a second. And your job is just to continuously look into the center of the flashing green cloud, just as you are, breathing gently. That's perfect. Very good. That's super. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. That's beautiful. Excellent. Super. Perfect. 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 Very good. Excellent. Super. Perfect. Almost done. Fantastic. That's great. Just looking straight ahead. That's beautiful. That's super. A little fluid here. Nice and steady. Keep looking straight. Keep looking straight. No talking. Okay. A little wet sponge here. Straight ahead there. A little fluid here. Nice and steady. Keep looking straight. A little fluid. Super. Looking straight ahead there. That's beautiful, super, perfect. Okay, so that's one eye down, everything's perfect. We're gonna put some drops in there. Are you surviving okay? Yeah, everything's going beautifully here. I'm gonna put some drops in there, that's perfect. Okay, how's that from that end, three? Pretty crazy, it's huh? Fine, yeah. 
But if you move your head, the green light disappears. The green light disappears. Right, right. Excellent. Okay, little drops there, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna just take this out here. How is that, Mr. Yeah, Iser? This is... It was easy. Really? Yeah. Easier than I expected. I couldn't feel you lift the flap. Right. I, but I could see the instrument coming close to yeah. the eye. Yeah. Uh, but I couldn't feel anything. Uh, and once you lift the flap, everything becomes blurry. Sure. Um, uh, you did you see the big flashing green cloud? Yes. Yes. Yes, you see the... Uh, you see and it becomes hazy. And it becomes quite it's hazy. It's sharp, and once you lift the flap, then it becomes all fuzzy, but you can see the green light. And when the flap goes back? Uh, then it's, it's better. It's, it gets sharper. Sharper again. Yeah. Yeah. Sharper again. That's right. Um, hey, what's, this, what's, the, what's the emotion uh, that you know that I'm about to dissect the flap? Is there a special? Uh, I expected to feel, uh, I just feel some movement. Uh, the light shifts when you're lifting the flap right because uh, probably the eye moves but right. I, I can't feel anything that's right i know you're lifting the flap right uh, but i don't feel it but i know that the eye is moving a little i don't have control over my eye i can't fix it but i try yeah. to look at the green light yeah amazing of course you're um you know you, obviously you didn't feel it you know what's happening yes um, your heart rate stayed absolutely stable. There was how, how much is it? I don't. No, no. It's running at about probably 78, 80 or something. But I was interested. I was listening because as I was lifting the flap, I was thinking that I might get a little bit of a raise, just because you know what's happening because you're a surgeon. But you know, you were like steady on. It was pretty good. You were thinking about uh, something else, I think. No, I was <laughs> trying to concentrate on the green light. <laughs> okay, very good. Should we go? Let's just go do sure, part two. Sure. Yeah, it's, we're almost finished. It's just a quick little thing here. I just, um, close your eyes for a sec, and to just get some fluid in there. Oh, I see, it goes all the way out here. And um, why don't you set yourself up um, here, swing your legs around, around here. Um, obviously, you were a plus one, so you, you had very little ablation, um, and now your cornea is a bit swollen. What, 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 do, you, what do you see? I can see the circle. <laughs> okay, hang on a sec, this is good. Um, hang on a sec, this is good. Tobradex eye drops, uh, tobramycin slash dexamethasone. The suspension contains 0.3% weight by volume tobramycin. <laughs> That's good. Congratulations. Nice to see. Congratulations, yes. Okay, now.